हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल एम चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू योर यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस आइडिया ऑफ डिफ्रैक्शन ऑफ लाइट एंड इट्स टाइप्स लेट्स बिगेन to define diffraction of light one of the phenomenon of light let we prefer some examples to understand diffraction of light when an opaque obstacle that is opaque not transparent that is opaque means no light passes throughout that material opaque obstacle obstacle that obstruct the zone of light let that be the source either monochromatic or white light light rays are emitted and here we place a screen so a sharp shadow of that object is cast on that of screen on that of screen that portion we take a sharp shadow shadow we observe from this portion similarly if a slit we place we know the slit that be the source let that be the screen here is the slit a single slit that slit is placed in the path of light so only the portion of the screen within that portion that portion of the screen is illuminated these two cases are happened when the size of the slit or obstacle are large the size of the slit and obstacle size of slit and obstacle is large that particular scenario happened but when the size of the obstacle and the slit is uh, small then we see 
light enters in that of geometrical shadow of that of obstacle or slit. This portion is known as the geometrical shadow that is the geometrical region. When that obstacle is small, when that is small at small case, small obstacle that light enters into that geometrical shadow. So, here at that of region we observe bright fringes. Again at that of region we observe bright fringes. Same thing happened in case of slit when that slit is small. When that slit is small, so here light bends, these are the geometrical bright region, but again after that we observe alternate bright or dark fringes. When that slit or opaque obstacle are small in size, this phenomenon of light basically known as diffraction. So, how we define diffraction phenomenon? We write the phenomenon of phenomenon of bending of light round the corners of an obstacle around the corners of an obstacle or we can say slit and entering of light entering of light into the regions of geometrical shadow into the regions of geometrical shadow is called diffraction that phenomenon of light is known as diffraction. Again that phenomenon of light which is known as diffraction basically refers that light travels in the form of wave. What be the condition for that of diffraction? The light waves diffracted diffracted only when the size of the obstacle
or slit is comparable to the wavelength of light. to the wavelength of light if the wavelength of light is lambda so lambda is comparable to the size of that obstacle or that slit but in some cases if uh, lambda is small to that of size of that of obstacle then we observe diffraction pattern that is rare extent and depending upon the size of that of slit and obstacle the diffraction pattern we observe on that of screen in that of particular case if we see the distribution of intensity so the graph is looking like this that be the distribution of intensity that is known as the central bright principal bright or central bright central maxima then after that central maxima what we find either maxima or minimas these are termed as the secondary maxima or minimas these are named as the secondary maxima or minima here also secondary maxima or minimas that one that one is the maxima so it is named as first secondary maxima first secondary maxima then minima so it is named as first secondary minima next that is the maxima it is secondary maxima but it is second secondary maxima so it is named as second secondary maxima like that we named the diffraction pattern the bright we occur in that of center which is known as central maxima or central principal maxima after that all are termed as secondary maxima or minimas the maxima occurred at first after the central maxima is known as first secondary maxima then the maxima is termed as second secondary maxima next maxima third secondary maxima and so on and the minimas are termed after that of central maxima is named as first secondary minima second secondary minima and so on like that of this side in this way the diffraction pattern which is known as the diffraction pattern is named now types of diffraction diffraction type types it is uh, divided into two categories one is runoff or diffraction runoff or diffraction and another one is named as fresnel diffraction fresnel diffraction according to 
the corresponding name of the scientist the diffraction phenomenon is termed as Fraunhofer diffraction and uh, Fresnel diffraction. So, what uh, exactly we refer as Fraunhofer and Fresnel diffraction? So, in case of Fraunhofer diffraction, it is uh, the type of diffraction. that it takes place at a slit when the source is at infinity source is at infinity distance from it. In case of uh, Fresnel diffraction, the source is at finite distance from it. This type of diffraction, this type of diffraction takes place at a slit when the source is at finite distance finite distance from it means the distance between the source and screen here is infinity and at case of Fresnel's diffraction the distance between the source and the screen is finite. If that screen is large distance as comparison to that of source then we treated it as the infinity distance. If that is a finite distance means that means the screen is very close to that source then we say it is finite distance. So, in case of finite distance, the diffraction pattern we observe is uh, named as uh, Fresnel diffraction and when the source and the screen are at infinity distance, the diffraction pattern we observe we treat as Fraunhofer diffraction. In this way, with the help of this video lecture, we understand one of the phenomenon of light which is named as the diffraction of light by taking some examples we analyze the definition of diffraction and the condition for diffraction and types of diffraction basically two types one is front of diffraction and another one is fresnel diffraction so with this useful and informative notes let me wind up this session thank you